All right, so this is a video to show you how to create a new ground station in GPredict. What you're going to want to do is go up to File in the top left corner. Under File, click New Module. And this will bring up a screen where you can edit all sorts of things like your module name, which for the purposes of this video, we will name Tutorial. And then if you see, you can click on the ground station drop down and you have a whole bunch of different ground stations, but we're going to want to create a new one. You can name it anything you want on the screen. We'll just name it tutorial underscore facility. You can add a description. So we'll say GS ground station for tutorial. And then you have a whole list of locations available to you. So we can go to the United States, Illinois. We can go and just choose Champaign. And bam, it puts in latitude, longitude of preset locations in Champaign. Uh, for the purposes of this video, though, we're going to change latitude and longitude to reflect the actual latitude and longitude of the ground station that is currently on Everett. So we'll go in, put those in. Now, it's really important that you pay attention to north and west. And by the way, you can get these off of Google Maps. You just select a location, and they'll give you latitude and, lo latitude and longitude in there. But you have to pay attention to whether it's negative, denoting west and south, or positive, denoting north and east. Uh, then it comes with this locator tag. We don't have to touch that. That's just for gpredict. And it has an altitude, which you can also affect. And it's slightly important, so we'll go ahead and put our altitude in here. After that, we can even select weather stations. Not really important for our purposes here, but just like the last list, you have a whole list of locations that you can go with. We'll just pick Champagne which is KCMI, and click OK. So now we have our tutorial facility, and it's all programmed in. You can do this for any sort of location, wherever your ground station is centered at. And the last step you're going to need to do before you create the module is go in and select some sort of satellite. This will end up being the one that you actually want, but for now, I'm just going to put in a random satellite here and hit OK. And it already says there's a tutorial because I already created one, but we'll just say yes. And then right here pops up your new module. You can see the tutorial facility and your satellite in the module at the same time. 